Now that we know the syntax and the simple semantics of Makefile, we're going to be able to put all of this in action and create the first real Makefile, which will do something like create a program. Let's define a certain number of variables and rules, which will be rather standard. But I'd like to insist on something very important. It's this Makefile is not meant to be accurate or complete or enough to submit your project. What I'm showing you are merely examples, like an initiation to the problematics. They are not answers. So if you submit this Makefile, you will have problems. You will see it's full of error, and there are things it can do. And it's up to you to figure out for yourselves by reading documentation, etc. Take this code for what it's worth. It's just an average example of a Makefile's possibility to compile a program. I've started by name defining a variable I've called name. I will take four values the executable name I'm trying to generate. It's a rule, it's called it name, but you could call it target or toto if you wanted to. However, name seems like a reasonable name to me, so I'll use it. Below, I've, dis I've defined a second variable called src, which will gather all C sources I want to compile. In this case, I'm targeting the file source.c, which is in my current directory, but I could add as many as I needed. If you need more lines to add your sources, you will need to jump line with backslash the same way for you used for preprocess macros in C. Here, I only have one source file, so I don't have to do it. Below, I have five rules that are pretty standard for makefile. All rules that take the same name as the target program, clean, fclean, and row. We know that if we invoke make without arguments, it's the first rule and content in my make file that will be executed. So here, it's all. This convention will allow you to call the rule that will launch the compilation. This rule is the rule name, or actually the value that will be taken from the variable name. So in our example, we are talking about awesome prog. So this rule name is the rule that will launch compilation by calling GCC with the option minus O to specify the executable name to be generated and I'm going to use this variable dollar name to specify that name. Then I will list the source I wish to compile. For this I use the variable dollar src, which I've defined just above. The three rules below are utilitarian rules to help with the project. The first is the rule clean, which will just clean by removing all the object file dot o generated during compiling. You'll have the possibility to use this rule to raise all the useless files, like, for example, files that have tilde in the shell. Here I choose not to do, but you definitely should. The second is fclean. It's a lot like clean, eh? that's why um, it called clean, which it depends on it every time I'll call fclean. Clean will be called. This rule add the deletion of the generated executable. What is it good for? If I compile my program, I get file.o and my executable. If I call clean, I will remove all the file.o, but keep my executable. If I call fclean, I'm going to clean up all file.o and also delete the executable. The last of these utilitarian rules is the rule r, which will reset the compilation, meaning starting over in a clean environment. For this, I first have to call the fclean rule, which it depends on, and then call the rule all. Basically, when I call the rule, first everything will be cleaned up and then my, my program will be compiled again. Let's use this make file together. In my directory, I have a file source.c and my make file. If I call make, my default rule that will be called will be my first all, which will call the rule dollar name which is com going to compile my program with gcc minus awesome prog source.c. Notice how the variable name and src have respectively been replaced by the values. I also have the opportunity to try clean, and I didn't get any file.o during this compilation. It's kind of useless, but it's rarely the case. If I want to clean some more and remove the executable, I will call fclean. 
which will clean up my directory by removing not only the file all but also generated executable. And if I want to start over and clean everything up and recompile, I will call make re. Here we can see that everything has been cleaned up, erased, and then everything been recompiled. So in my directory, I have an executable that's ready. I think we are going through the basics of the make files. We should that should get you started. As I've said many times, this lesson is just a preview. It's not meant to give you all the answers, just the notions. You'd better go check what the internet has to offer. You will come across many tutorials and articles on the subject, and you will be able to make your own make files. You will see we can do a lot of interesting things with make files, so that's making sure your compiling doesn't just generate some file O and links them to an executable but instead something more complex with directories, copies, links and everything that's necessary to compile a real program. In other words, I will leave you to your exercises. Good luck.